so this is Zoe Freeman. Zoe's from the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neurosciences. And their presentation is entitled Remembering Trauma, What Happens in the Brain in PTSD Psychosis? When something stressful happens, you might expect to remember that for a really long time. But we think there are some important differences between normal memories of difficult events and trauma memories, where people can re-experience events as though they're happening again right now. This is often the way in PTSD, so post-traumatic stress disorder. And what we're really interested in is whether these memories look different in the brain in people who also have psychosis, which is really commonly linked. We used to think of them as quite distinct conditions, but actually a lot of intrusions that people feel with PTSD also happen in psychosis. So for instance, someone might have the unusual belief that someone's implanted a chip in their brain, but that the person who did that was someone who had previously been abusive to them. So these are really commonly linked and actually very distressing when they both occur at the same time. There are two to five times higher rates of PTSD in people with psychosis than those without. And this group is really understudied. So what we're interested in finding out is whether it looks different when people experience that trauma memory, but also whether or not things change. So this cupboard on the left shows jumbled up things that might, if you open the cupboard door, kind of pop out at you. And on the right, we can see organized, ordered things. And this is a bit like trauma memory before therapy, and after. So in our study, people are taking part to potentially receive a type of therapy which can help them to resort this jumbled memory form into something that doesn't pop out at them, doesn't cause distress and intrusions in that same way. We can think a little bit about this in a way to do with threat. So when something happens that PTSD can be caused by, you can feel an overwhelming sense of threat in your body. Brain areas like the amygdala and the hippocampus might be behaving differently because you might have the sense that there's not very much environmental information and it might be hard to remember that something happened in the past. And that's why those intrusions tend to come back. So for us, what we're really interested in seeing is whether or not when people recall that memory in the scanner before that trauma therapy can take place, whether or not there are changes afterwards and we can see the difference there, both in the therapy outcome and also in the brain imaging itself. Hopefully, we can find out that there's changes that happen reflected both in the therapy outcome and in the brain imaging. And if not, that's also really interesting, because then we can learn a bit more about what mechanisms are actually going into that therapy change. So what we're interested in seeing is hopefully what will help people live with less distress, and hopefully what will change some of the day-to-day -day experiences with those intrusions, both of PTSD and psychosis symptoms, that can happen in this group. Thank you for listening.